You know, our people are being killed in Palestine. They want to wipe the whole nation off right in front of our eyes. They have occupied Palestine and we who know what is occupation should have an appreciation of what the Palestinians are going through. We know when they call an organization a terrorist organization, what do they mean? Because even this ANC was called a terrorist organization when it was fighting for its own people. Nelson Mandela was called a terrorist himself for fighting for his own people. The Palestinians are fighting for self-determination. They want their land back from the occupiers. And what the occupiers do in return, they kill. They kill Palestinians. So, we cannot fold our arms and pretend that we don't see what's happening in Palestine. If there is no peace in Palestine, there won't be peace the whole world amongst those who love peace. No any part, no any part of the world must be characterized by war. We just enjoyed it now as Muslims. I hope as you are eating, you are dedicating also to those children and women who are being butchered. They didn't have eat. Instead of having eat, they were fed missiles, guns. Once they try to come together to pray, they are a threat to a certain group and it kills all of them. Even kills UN staff members. Even bomb a hospital. Bomb a refugee camp. Let me tell you, even if the general of Hamas is in that hospital, once he runs into that hospital, it's done. We can't do anything anymore. You can't bomb a hospital because you say there is Hamas in a hospital. You have to find other ways to get to Hamas without bombing a hospital or a refugee camp. It's not called a refugee camp for nothing. That's why we took them to ICJ. That's why we support that decision. Because once you start bombing UN staff members, bombing uh, refugee camps, you are violating international law. You are committing genocide. That is in violation of international law. You kill journalists. We don't love some of them here in South Africa, but we can't kill them. Journalists, whether you like or you don't like, you can't kill them. If anything, you must protect their freedom to report freely without any form of intimidation. So, why would a Muslim, a true Muslim, vote for DA that supports apartheid Israel which is committing genocide. When you vote for DA, you are allowing what is happening in Palestine to happen. Because we in the EFF marched to to Israel embassy and told them to leave Because we can't share a territory with murderers. We only want to share land with peaceful people. We did not, we did not, we did not end it there. We proceeded to take it into parliament. And we took a resolution in parliament that South Africa must cut ties and remove the Israeli embassy. The ANC that pretends to care about Muslims is the one that must implement that decision. They are not implementing it. The support of the ANC for struggle of Palestine is pretentious. It's not genuine. 
I saw Ramaphosa on Eid when kneeling there going, Girl, look at this one. <laughs> He's pretending like he cares about our people. You care about the Muslims of South Africa. It means you must care for the Palestinians. Brazil, Brazil removed the Israeli embassy. Brazil. There is another Arab state recently, I don't know if it's UAE or what. They too cut the diplomatic relations. It's, 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 yes. So what we're saying is international solidarity is important. We benefited from international solidarity. There were big matches, big boycotts in London, in USA, in Washington for the release of Nelson Mandela, they don't know. We were born, Mandela was already in prison. We came to join the struggle for his release without knowing his face. That's what the international community did. That we don't care whether we know his face or not. But he's violated because he's standing for the rights of his people. A Muslim that votes for a patriotic alliance that took a platform and said kill Hamas you vote for ACDP that said we cannot cut relations with Israel so Lanesha has got a very good history of progressive uh, struggles here it cannot be that there is a single vote of the DA coming from this Ward 9. We don't want them yet. We don't want them here. Why? They are allowing the killing of our brothers and sisters and our children. Who support killing of children? Who, who, who identifies kids as a threat? Even the ANC cannot be voted for because the ANC should have shown seriousness by removing that embassy. They have not done so. All they do, they go to ICJ, International Court of Justice. They are there talking. Uh, it's easy to do that one because, you know, the court issues take forever. They are buying themselves time. The immediate thing now, immediate thing now, is to remove the Israeli embassy. That's when we know we are practically in solidarity with the uh, people of Palestine. McDonald, you are talking about, received a letter from EFF and said, do you have any product there that comes from uh, Israel? They said, no. And we buy our food here. Yeah, they gave us the lease. Uh, said, mm, we believe you. No problem. We went to Woolworths. We said, we know you are selling Israel food. Only the EFF did that. No any other party did that. Said to Woolworths, do you have Israel food your products? They said, no, we are left with what, what they said the name. Uh, uh, some 10% give us two weeks we'll remove we'll, we'll sell all of it and then we'll not order again we said there's no two weeks because people are dying now <laughs> by supporting any product from Israel you are supporting the genocide against our people we said to our Sudan command everywhere no lecture or visiting lecture or any teaching material should enter our universities or enter our Tibet colleges if they are coming from Israel. We are not saying Jewish kids can't learn in our universities. No. But we are refusing the products that comes from that government which kills people. So we're making a plea today that Lanesia Ward 9 
is a no-go area for those who support genocide. And we are not going to block them physically. We are going to block them through our vote. Vote for the EFF and have the load shedding stop immediately. Vote for the EFF and have the jobs for our people. Vote for the EFF, have everyone have a piece of land. Vote for the EFF, see the removal of Israeli embassy in June, immediately in June. That, if you vote for the EFF, that is going to be in the acceptance speech of the president. That with immediate effect, we want the Israeli embassy closed. Do you want to watch more videos like this one? If yes, subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon next to it. We have decided to bring videos on something nobody talks about. African politics, economy, and increasing power. Thanks for watching, and until the next video, stay tuned. Tell us what you think in the comment section. Like and share the video, and subscribe so that you don't miss any of our African videos. It's the best way to support us.